This barricade roof rack basket is for those of you that have a 2007 to 2018 JK or a JL that have a roof rack on your Jeep and are looking for a basket that makes it a little bit easier to carry some smaller items up on that rack. This is going to be a very easy one out of three wrench installation. This assembles very easily and attaches onto the barricade roof rack very easily. If you have another brand of roof rack, you could probably use this as well, but this is really designed for that barricade roof rack. And we'll talk a little bit more about the installation in just a second. So a roof rack is a great idea if you have a two door or a four door JK or one of the new JLs, because even on those big Jeeps, you just don't have a ton of cargo space on the inside. So whether you're hauling gear around on the road or to your favorite campsite, adding a roof rack is a great way to add some cargo space. But if you're carrying some smaller items, they can fall right through that roof rack or you don't really have a good way to strap them down. And that's where a basket like this is going to come into play. Again, this basket is specifically designed for that barricade roof rack. You could probably make it work on some other options. Other brands have their own baskets that are designed specifically for their racks. Barricade makes a fairly inexpensive roof rack that's still there to get the job done, and their basket is going to be similar. A little bit less expensive than some of the others, but still a great choice. If you are looking for something that is very stylish, maybe a little bit more low profile, has a lot of accessories designed to be bolted onto the basket and or the rack, I'd probably recommend one of those companies that is roof rack specific, like Garvin for instance. But again, if you're looking to save a little bit of money and you just want a rack and a basket that are going to work great for you, this is going to be a less expensive choice. This roof rack basket is constructed of aluminum, which is something that I really, really like. Anytime you're putting a ton of weight on the top of the Jeep, you are raising that center of gravity. And if you're somebody who takes your Jeep in an off-road situation quite often, you get in some of those off-camber situations, you don't want to raise that center of gravity. So keeping everything light up on the roof is really, really nice. And this is just that. This is very, very light. The other benefit to aluminum is if you do get a scratch in the powder-coated finish, you're not going to end up with full-on rust like you would with a mild steel roof rack basket, you're going to get a little bit of oxidation, but this isn't going to rust away on you, which again is going to be a big benefit. One of the other things I like about this basket is that it has some tubes in the center. It has the side sections. This is very easy to put together and assemble, but this also comes with the flooring slats. Some of the other options on the market, you have to buy the flooring kit separately, and sometimes they can be pretty expensive. And the flooring just adds additional functionality to your basket. Again, I said before, these are really for carrying some smaller items up on the roof rack that normally don't span those bars. Having the floor lets you carry some even smaller items in here, throw a cargo net up there, and make sure that everything is going to stay in its place. This basket is going to run you $250. As I said before, Barricade is known for building some quality stuff at a very fair price, and this is no different. Usually when you step up to, into aluminum as a uh, material, the price is going to go up considerably. I think $250 is still a very fair price for an aluminum basket that is going to add a ton of functionality to your existing roof rack. Now I'll have a member of the install team show you how you get this bolted up. We're going to begin this insulation with all of our pieces laid out on the floor. You're going to have your two sides and your two end with the crossbars in the middle. We're going to assemble the middle section first and get all those crossbars in, then we'll connect the ends. So to keep this piece standing up, we're going to go ahead and slide this in just a little bit <clears throat> and then we'll go and get the other side in. At this point you're ready to slide the other end on. So we'll get that side started. So this side started. So now that we have our basket pretty much assembled, the next step is to install our floor slats. These are gonna lay with this felt side down on the cross members, and then we're gonna install our Phillips head screws into those. So you just want to poke the screw through and then line it up with that hole and then just screw it in. 
So now that the slats are installed, we're ready to flip it over and secure the ends. So we're going to use the supplied Allen head bolts with a washer on them, and we're going to screw them into the bottom of this section and this section on the end. So now that we have the basket fully assembled, we're ready to install it on the roof rack. So to install this basket, your front and rear crossbar will need to be as far out as possible. So there's two holes, put the front one in the front slot, the rear one in the rear slot. <clears throat> to install this basket to the roof rack, we're gonna place our block underneath of the basket. Then we're gonna put our clamp on top. The U-bolt is gonna go up through everything and then we'll put our wing nuts on. Lock in. Put our clamp up top.
So with everything tightened down and adjusted properly, that wraps up our review and install. For more videos like this, check us out at extremeterrain.com.